Motor Swamis. A team of travel seekers endeavor to bring you immersive footage of little heard of places in India which are breathtakingly beautiful yet unspoiled. Nagaland is a place engulfed in mysteries, inhabited by vibrant people, mountains, valleys, and forests. One of the many mysteries that attracts people to Nagaland is the lesser known valley of flowers in Nagaland, Dzuku Valley. Situated between the Senapati district of Manipur and the Kohima district of Nagaland, the Dzuku Valley with bounties of nature spread across engulfed in its mystique offers some of the best trekking circuits in the country. Out of two routes that can be conquered to reach Dzuku from Kohima, we took the Zakama route which is considered more challenging than the Vishwema route both spanning close to 25 kilometers. Interestingly, the name Dzuku means cold waters. An old village folklore talks about the destination being found by a young scout who went in search of new locations to build villages and expand territories. The folklore says that the scout who landed at Zuku found it to be too cold for the soul, as the climate and the environment were too cold, uninhabited, nothing edible grew, and there were no trees in the vicinity. Motorswamis got the exclusive privilege to trek to Zuku Valley and also get never seen before drone footage from the valley floor itself. This immersive video takes you through the artist trek to the top of the mountains to access the valley and then the descent into the valley floor. We drove from Kohima to Vishwema where we were met our guides Kuko and Viko. The path from Vishwema is an off-road trail till the starting point of the trek. From the beginning of the hiking trail, the path gets narrow and the ascent begins. It's a 3.5 hours steep climb through a dense forest over uneven stony steps, through tree branches and boulder. After a really challenging 3.5 hours climb, one reaches the top of the mountains surrounding the valley. The path levels off after this and it takes another 8 kilometers through the dwarf bamboo to reach the rest house. The rest house itself is just two buildings with very basic accommodation and no running water or electricity. One needs to carry supplies like sleeping bags and sleep on the floor of one of the two buildings. Option to pitch tents is also available. The sight of the Dzuku Valley far below is breathtaking from the vantage point of the rest house. The trek to the valley from the rest house is another two hours with another steep descent.
Once we reach the valley floor, the scenery is breathtaking. Surrounded by green, rolling hills with almost no other humans around, and is truly soul-cleansing. The valley floor is covered in green grass, and during the flowering season, it is completely covered with color giving it the sobriquet, Valley of Flowers. There is a huge cross atop a hill, and after another tough climb till the cross, we can witness the entire valley floor in all its glory. The river flowing through the valley has extremely cold but crystal clear water. It cuts across the valley in a zigzag shape. A permit from Sayo, South Angami Youth Organisatan, is required to visit Zuku Valley. They charge a nominal fee to keep the entire region eco-friendly and to provide basic camping facilities. Motor Swamis would like to thank Sayo, especially its president, Mr. Metemayura, for his support in facilitating our visit. You can do all this and more. Contact info at the rate motorswamis at the rate gmail.com to live the adventure. Hit the subscribe button to receive more immersive experiences.